Hi, I'm Congressman Jesse Jackson, Jr. I've had the pleasure and the honor of representing the good people of the 2nd Congressional District since 1995. I hope I've earned your support, and once again, I respectfully am asking for your vote. I support government programs that help people. That's what Americans do. We help each other, especially those in temporary need. I support programs that help our neighbors who've lost their jobs, that help the family down the street facing foreclosure, that assist elderly parents who have costly medical bills, that help young people who want to go to college and need a loan, and I support programs that help businesses prosper so they can hire more workers who become consumers and thus grow our economy. Some call these ideas progressive. Some call them family values. Whatever you call them, I support them and I've fought hard to protect and promote those values while serving in Congress. I will continue to fight for progressive ideas and I want to fight for you. This year, because of the 2010 census, the second congressional district has been redrawn and expanded. It still includes much of Chicago's south side and south suburbs, but now it also takes in eastern Will County and all of Kankakee County. Since last summer, I've had the pleasure of meeting many people in Will and Kankakee counties for the first time. And what I quickly learned is that people in those rural areas share many of the same values and the same concerns as their counterparts in the city and the suburbs. No matter where you live, Many of us are worried about keeping our jobs and our homes. We want to make sure that our families have adequate health care coverage when we need it. We want our communities to be safe and crime free. We want our children to get a high quality and affordable education from preschool to graduate school. And after completing schooling, we want to make sure there's a job waiting for us. I'm fortunate enough to serve on the House Appropriations Committee. That's the committee that directs federal spending. In fact, I'm the only member of that committee from Illinois. And because I sit on that committee, I've been able to bring back more than a billion dollars to this district, far more than any other member of the Illinois delegation. That money has been used to build community centers and hospital emergency rooms, to expand health care programs and improve public schools, to enhance public safety across the district, to build affordable housing for seniors and low-income families, and much, much more. In fact, my office has a complete list of every dollar that we've secured. And if you'd like a copy, please call my office at 708-798-6000. Most importantly, all of these projects and programs have created and retained jobs in this district. All told, this federal money has created thousands of jobs for teachers, law enforcement, construction workers, health care providers, researchers, transportation workers, and others in every community. As an example, there's a small appropriation that I'm extremely proud of. It was used to start a nurse's training program in Chicago Heights. In 2003, the presidents of several Southland hospitals came to my office to express a concern that they couldn't find enough nurses to staff their hospitals. So I provided the seed money, $100,000 the first year, to create what we call the Southland Healthcare Forum. Today, the forum is self-financed operates a $3.5 million annual budget, and to date it has trained and placed into jobs 1,200 nurses and healthcare professionals. It's providing quality care for local residents, and none of this would have happened without the federal government providing seed money. One final point. I believe we're closer to ever. I believe we're closer than ever to building the greatest economic engine the Southland will ever see, that airport, to be paid for with private dollars, will create 1,000 construction jobs, 15,000 on opening day, and eventually more than 250,000 jobs for our region. I have a big vision for this district, and when it comes to jobs, that airport will be the gift that keeps on giving for generations. In closing, let me say we are all taxpayers. We're all Americans. I'm proud to say that if elected, I will continue to fight for the progressive values that hardworking families treasure and share from Grant Park in Chicago to Piatone to Grant Park in Kankakee County. Thank you for your time, and I respectfully ask for your vote on March the 20th.